Don't skip over this part. Please. Hi, beautiful. The reason why I told you to not skip over this part was because... <coughs> Come closer. Come on. My hair color brand, X Mondo, is launching in Sally Beauty! <laughs> ah! We're launching Super Blue Slate Gray, Super Gloss, all in store, plus many more. And I wanna share everything about my launch in Sally Beauty. Every YouTuber's always like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm finally saying this for the first time on camera. It's actually real. When you have a big launch like this, you've been working behind the scenes for years to make this happen. It really is crazy to say it on camera for the first time. By the way, it's currently 9 p.m. YouTube has become my night job and I'm gonna shut up now. Let's watch some videos. We're gonna watch a bunch of people color their hair blue because that's what I'm literally doing to my hair. Up first, we have a video by Anu Shrestha. I know I probably didn't do a great job of pronouncing your name, but I really did try. I am going to bleach and uh, dye my hair blue. She has very, very dark hair. And also, the underneath of her hair looks to be like this salmon-y, pink, brown color. It looks like a scary situation. She might have a little bit of a hard time lifting that out because she needs to get that a little cleaner before we then put blue on it. Because if we put blue over that color, it's going to be all weird and mucky and brown looking and it won't be cute. So hopefully she lifts that out first. I need to start my hair else. It's going to be like 2 a.m. by the time I'm done. It's not easy filming, reacting, doing hair. A lot of moving parts, guys. This is the color that I'm going to use uh, to my hair. I don't know. That box tie looks spooky. X Mondo would never. <laughs> we got this gorgeous. Gorgeous X on the top of our caps. This beautiful packaging, this very large container of color. I'm coloring my hair with uh, super blue on the sides. I'm gonna put a little bit of slate gray in there because I want it like a dusty blue. Usually I would just use it right out of the container. You can just go whoosh, scoop it up, boop, put it on. Super simple and easy. You don't need any hair experience. But I'm using a bowl today because I'm mixing my own like custom color. So a little goes a long way. I'm gonna do equal parts slate gray and super blue. I'm gonna mix that together, but it's like a more of a gray blue like obviously brad first of all i'm going to bleach this straight color only so that's the plan for now okay so she is just doing the underneath of her hair which i'm excited about i think that's a good idea i'm making a mess let me put these back i'm about to do this all with no mirror um so let's test out my skills here what are we doing over here first this is the bleach that i'm going to try out this is the 40 volume co de uh, developer her hair looks to be kind of coarse so she is going to need a higher developer to break through that darkness, but I'm really worried about that lighter part getting too light and snapping off. I hope that doesn't happen. She's starting from the mids and going to the ends, which is a great idea. So happy she's not starting at the roots because that would be a huge problem for her. But yeah, on those lighter sections, she's gonna have to only do the darker bits first, let that process, and then hit the lighter pieces after. Because if we do the lighter pieces right now while she's doing the darker parts, the darker parts are going to lighten nicely. And then by the time that's done being lightened, the already pre-lightened pieces with the bleach on top of them are gonna snap off and over process. Do you know what I mean there? I'm procrastinating. I mean, it's just semi-permanent color. You can always go back. So let's just do this. This is the best part about semi-permanent color and about my color is that it's not permanent and you can change up your hair all the time without any damage. That's the most important part. My hair is so blue. Oh my God. So she just finished lightening her hair and I'm glad she covered it with a bag because that's important to make sure that that black hair lightens nicely. She ended up with this result, which isn't like optimal, but isn't terrible. When there's a little bit of yellow left in the hair like this and you're gonna put blue over it, it just makes it more turquoise looking, which is also pretty like turquoise is a great color. So it's really not a big deal, but she could definitely make it a little more even. The more even your palette is when applying semi-permanent color over it, the better the result and the more even the result is. This is what I got. That red hair, that pinkish hair is now pink and another one is yellow. I have few pieces which are still black. Okay, I lied to her. It's not going great for her. <laughs> Over here, it's going great. If I can do without a mirror, you can do it with a mirror. A little bit on my ears, but we're good, we're good. And I'm trying to figure out if I should bleach it again or just 
dyed blue. I think that at this point, she should just color it blue because she's worrying me a little bit. I feel like if she does anything else, it's gonna snap off. Like it already looks over processed in some areas. Like I know that pink part has been bleached 5 million times. I am really doing my best here while being in a reversed camera. I could grab a mirror. I just really don't want to get up. You know what? Let me get my phone open. I, there's boxes of hair stuff everywhere and I don't want to have to look for, her. I don't know, everything that I need. And we're just gonna balance my phone right here. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. You see that? Oh yeah, we're doing my roots also the same color. So I think I will bleach it again. So she ended up going in with more bleach. <laughs> I just hate that. I think we were fine without doing more bleach. And it's the next day. My hair is still pink. It looks more or less the same. I don't know what went wrong. Pink is not easy to get out of your hair. I am going to apply blue over top of this. Why do I look like this? Why am I putting this online? <clears throat> All for the name of color. She's putting a very pretty dark blue on her hair. It's actually very similar to the color that I'm using. So we're on the same wavelengths here. This is definitely gonna cover the pink situation going on. And I think it'll look good. So she just put the blue on. We're letting it process. I over here am just applying this blue to my roots and I'm running out of it. <laughs> also, my hair is so yellow. I don't know what happened the last time I lightened it, but I like could not get it blonde, which was not really normal for me because usually my hair is just like boop. Literally white. Mm, that is a clean line, baby. The last looks really good so far. Yeah, this is gonna be the perfect look for me. So my hair is blue and green. Let's go! This is how it has turned out. It is not even at all. I think I have mixed feelings. I think it looks so gorgeous on you. I love, love, love the blue underneath your hair and the extremely dark black color on the top of your hair, I think is just the perfect combination for you. And with your natural hair texture, it's just gorgeous. However, I would have loved to see it as a more even blue. And I like that kind of like aqua, light blue, turquoise -y color going on. I was expecting the blue to cover up more of her hair and come out with more even color. Um, next time, try X Mondo. Super blue will cover that up. My colors are very pigmented and very intense because how else would you make a color line and not like, would you not be extremely pigmented and intense? Um, no, I wouldn't do that. So for Sally Beauty, we are launching eight colors, which is like an actual dream. We're launching super gloss, slate gray, berry, turquoise, super red, super pink, super blue, and super purple. What's so exciting about launching in Sally Beauty is that it was the first place I ever went to to buy hair color or any hair products. I had one right by my house and it was my favorite place to go. I remember just walking on the aisles and just feeling a burst of creativity. Like I could do anything and be anybody physically with my hair and with my friends also. Like they were all my guinea pigs. So I would just buy things from Sally Beauty and try them out on people. It was some of the most memorable, fun times and most creative times in my entire life. So when I was choosing a partner to carry my line of hair color products, Sally Beauty came to mind very quickly. And it's just so cool that my independent beauty brand is now launching in their stores. I'm just so excited that you now get to like impulsively color your hair with my hair color products. Like, that's so cool. Like, I love a Sally's run at like 6 p.m., 7 p.m., right before closing and just being like, I want to color my hair pink and I need to do it now. That's one of the best parts of Sally Beauty is that it's there whenever you need it and you can run and get your color immediately. I'm just really excited to be at a Sally Beauty store near you so that you can get your hands on my product as easy and as quickly as possible. Guys, I need to finish the back of my head though. Um, so I'm going to be right back because I can't keep doing this on camera. I am going to regret that. <laughs> it's looking fine so far, but even though Xmon is very easy to use, I don't recommend doing it without a mirror. Don't 
do what I do. Do it correctly. Make sure you wear gloves too. The roots have been applied. I am three quarters of the way blue, but let's watch another video. Next video is by Naomi John, who we know very well on this channel. Hi, Naomi. Let's see what you're doing today. We need to get this color. So I'm gonna bleach my roots. I already mixed the bleach and now I'm gonna mix the bleach Bath. Are we just gonna skim over the fact that your hair is all different colors? Why is it dark purple and then like white on top? What? <sighs> your hair is three different colors. I'm a little concerned. How did we get here? We need bleach powder and of course developers, but we're also gonna add shampoo. I'm just a little worried. Her hair looks a bit compromised on the top of her head, but Naomi always figures it out somehow. Um, and it always looks good, so I trust Naomi. And I'm also just going to apply it on the lower parts of my hair. Okay, good. She's only doing it on the dark parts of her hair where it's very pink. However, even those sections are very compromised, so still a little scary. So we are gonna start with the roots, and then in the last 10 minutes of my roots, um, you know, developing, we're gonna apply the bleach bath for like 10 or 15 minutes. And she's bleaching her roots, and I'm glad she got whoever else that was in the video to do it for her because it is it's so hard to retouch your roots and not overlap. When you overlap on a double process blonde onto already lightened hair, that's when breakage happens and we don't want that. So I'm glad she didn't try and do that herself because Naomi, you try and do a lot of things yourself and sometimes you just need to ask for help. Sometimes you just need to like reach out. Be like, please help me, you know? Sometimes I need to do that too. Today would have been a good day, but I decided to do this by myself. As she does her roots, I'm gonna do my ends. I'm actually only gonna take like a little dollop of the blue formula and then put a lot of clear in with it because I want it to be significantly lighter on my ends. However, I didn't do a great job at applying it. I was a little distracted by you guys. That's significantly lighter. It's like a denim blue. I'm excited to have it on my head. All right, so that's super gloss mixed in. I'm actually just gonna use my hands right now because X Mondo was actually created to be used with your hands and not a brush. You can do either, but honestly, it's just so easy to go like this. Ooh, and I'm just gonna blend those two colors in with my fingers. Ooh, do you see that? Oh, that looks good. <laughs> This has been soaking in for like 20 minutes, so I can apply this now. I think mine is way too liquidy. I think I put too much shampoo in there, but that's okay. What the f is this? It's in now. I don't think that deep purple color is going to come out with just a bleach bath. Like that looks pigmented. I don't know. I don't have a lot of hope. That so looks pretty horrible. Ah! But we're gonna save this with silver shampoo, but I'm gonna put some more Olaplex in there and then I'll be right back. And here's the finished result. I think this actually worked really well, but also I gotta say, I didn't quite only use the bleach bath. I was getting really impatient and I just applied the straight up bleach. Yeah, see, I knew it. That was not gonna work with just a bleach bath. Like I was like, how did she get this good of a result? It actually looks really good. Um, And this is the perfect palette to now put blue over. So let's watch and see. So I was thinking my front, strands in like a light blue and everything else in like a very intense midnight dark blue. Sometimes I'm also thinking maybe I should go get bangs again because let's be honest I still have them. But I actually think I want my front bits to be a little bit like on the green turquoise. Okay guys I think I have it now. This is my main color. She's doing like a lighter blue I think on the front pieces she said and then a darker deep blue on the back and I'm kind of doing like the same sort of mixture of colors on my head. We're really twinning, Nomi. This is going great. Guys, my bangs, my front bits are done. <gasps> wow, that's dark. Yay, I'm feeling it. Oh, am I feeling it? Oh, not gonna lie, this looks pretty f cool, this color. Oh my god, I'm loving this combination so far. That is such a pretty, like, turquoise light blue color in the front of her head. I'm obsessed with that, like, right here. So gorgeous. And then she's doing this really deep royal blue in the back, and I cannot wait to see the results. It's gonna look so good when it's blown out and styled. And also, Nomi is doing a fabulous job coloring her hair. Pretty good sectioning. She's making sure she has all those roots done, and then she's going on her ends after. That's a great way of applying semi-permanent color. That way, everything stays neat and organized. 
semi-permanent color is pretty foolproof, but you definitely wanna make sure you get it on everything and you fully, fully saturate, like heavily saturate the color. That way you get the most color payoff possible. Don't just put a light layer of my color on your hair and expect it to be super vibrant. You need to like really put it on there. It is made to be thickly laid on and I promise you'll have enough for your entire head and then some. I've seen people even get up to three uses with just one jar of this color. Okay guys, the blue is in my hair. I think it's gonna be amazing, cool, very, very much fashion and blue. I will see you tomorrow, everyone. Oh, I can't wait to see the final results. I can't wait to see the final results. I can't wait to see the final results. She's gonna look so good. We're gonna look so good. I look crazy right now. I don't know why, but this hair really made me feel kind of grungy today. Makeup wise, I always go with what my hair makes me feel like basically, so. Nomi, what? You look insanely beautiful. Let me show you the middle part. I kind of love it. Right now, I'm just thoroughly enjoying the blue hair on my head again. You kind of love it? This is one of the best colors I've ever seen you in. It is so perfect and so even, and the color placement is just fabulous. Like, that that bang region being a lighter blue, also the most beautiful light blue I've ever seen. The makeup is like insanely good. What? Everything is just so perfect on you. How did you do this? Naomi, you really slayed it and I'm now even more excited to also have blue hair because I want to be a part of the blue hair gang. If you're a part of it, I want to be a part of it. All right, while my hair processes for a bit, let's watch one more. Also, I'm very excited for my hair to feel better and look better because our color actually has bond booster built into it and so many hydrating ingredients to make your hair feel better post coloring. That is the whole objective of my color line is to make your hair look healthier and feel healthier after you color it because that's like a win-win and you get a massive jar of color because I want to give you everything My hair was looking kind of crispy today So I'm excited to see my hair not look like that anymore Get ready to see how shiny my hair is gonna look So up next is a video by frizzy curls and she's gonna color her hair very bright blue And she's starting with some 30 volume and some lightener Which I think is a great idea for her, but I'm a little worried about her curl pattern being damaged But it's a give-and-take, you know just a heads up I was in a little bit of shambles trying to lift my hair I don't know if it was because the lifter was over from sitting on the shelf for so long at the beauty supply store. I don't know if this powder is different from the individual packets I normally use or if my developer was just out of date, but something was off. So far, I'm a little bit worried because she is not applying directly on her root, but she's applying very close to her root to start with. We really want to go in that middle and end section first and not get it on the root at all, or else we're going to end up with hot roots. But she could be safe considering it's not touching her roots right now. So it's like a 50-50 chance this goes well. But I think it'll go fine. Okay, I mean, the application method is a little wild. <laughs> we started off with some sectioning, which was great, but now it's kind of just gotten like, woo, a little crazy, a little bit like all over the place. When you're using lightener, it's super important to take sections and really get that lightener in there evenly or else you're going to have uneven results. It's not gonna be ideal for you. But considering she's going blue, it might be okay because blue covers up a lot of flaws, luckily. The application process is getting wild. <laughs> Alright, so this is what my hair is looking like after about 30 minutes of processing. I could tell by this point my curls were already loosening, especially in the front. Whoa, okay, okay, hold on. Your curls are definitely loose, which is sad, but like, whatever. You wanted to color your hair, so who gives a fuck, you know? Like, it's a give and take. Sometimes you have to lose a little curl to gain a little color, and vice versa. It's all gonna be fine, you know? Whatever. As long as you're okay with it. The only thing I'm worried about, mostly, is the fact that, like, the color is all over the place. Like, it is not even at all. Uh, so hopefully we're gonna lighten it again, but I'm also worried about breakage. I don't know I don't normally do this to my hair when coloring it But I didn't want to waste any more time waiting for my hair to dry so I can move on to the next step So I just took my blow dryer on cool and sped up the drying process It's a great idea when you have really curly hair to blow it out first before you apply the lightener Because sometimes the curls can make the hair kind of clump together And you don't really want any clumping or gathering of hair when you're applying lightener or else that lightener is not going to go and penetrate through all of the hair fibers and you're gonna end up with kind of patchiness and uneven results like what happened here. So I'm so glad she's correcting her mistakes and now blowing out her hair to ensure that all the lightener processes evenly and she's able to actually section her hair properly. I'm gonna lift my hair one more time using the Biggin Powder Lightener, which y'all saw in my last hair color video and mixing it with 30 Volume Developer. Why don't we do this the first time though? Come on. <laughs> Thank you. 
now you may ask why aren't you doing your sides yet i was just freestyling at this point but also i thought i needed to do the shorter side last because the heat from my scalp will process it faster but in this situation i could have just done it all together and i should have you are totally right you were doing it totally totally right first of all your section looks amazing the second time around like this is so much better you corrected all your mistakes Great job. And then also, I'm glad you waited to do the sides last because that hair is super short and processes really quickly. So I actually think that's a great idea. Like I mentioned earlier, I started freestyling. So I took some aluminum foil and covered the top of my hair while I did my sides. I saw Megan the Stallion's hairstylist Kellen do this aluminum thing when he was on live one day bleaching his hair. So I said, YOLO, why not? You can definitely do that. What the foil is gonna do is make things process faster. I just worry about you laying all your hair down on top of itself because what's gonna happen is that hair that's closest to your root is going to get extremely hot and extremely blonde. And the hair that is on the top of that pile of hair is going to get less hot and less blonde. So you're gonna get less even results. But again, we're doing your hair blue, so you can kind of afford to have a few mistakes here and there. But if you want perfect results, don't do this next time. Next time after applying lightener, make sure all your hair is lifted up and not sitting on itself, and then put a plastic cap over your head. <laughs> Now to tone my hair, this time I'm using the Wella's Color Charm Toner in T11. There are different variations of blonde on my head along with the pink still, so I'm toning it in hopes to get rid of the pink and to also take out the yellow undertone in the blonde. Okay, I was happy overall with this toning process because the pink finally came out. I just wish my sides were brighter, but I wasn't doing it again, so this is what I got. This is looking really awesome so far. She successfully lightened her hair and it's actually quite even. Like obviously it's pink on the ends and it's like a little yellow on the sides, but I think that the blue is gonna even everything out very nicely and it might look a little turquoise in some areas, but that's okay. She's doing this pretty dark navy blue. This is looking good. She's doing an amazing job applying this color and she's doing I think like the same exact thing as I did where it's the darker blue on the roots and the lighter blue on the ends so we're gonna have the basically the same hair I love that we're coloring our hair together and you had no idea this is gonna happen um cool once all of the color is applied you should already know the drill but I sit under some heat for up to 15 minutes then rinse my hair until the water runs clear give it a good wash and condition and that's it I'm actually happy with how the color came out I knew my curls were shot though after all of the rounds of 30 volume developer and other chemicals so I said YOLO again and went ahead and straightened and curled my hair, beat my little face and made it a look. What? You guys are so good at doing your own hair. It's incredible to see. Oh my God. I'm like distracted by the haircut. That is so cool with the line work on the side and color. Oh my God. And the makeup, everything just came together so perfectly. You look amazing. It was a little scary for a second, but you really came through and pulled it together. The results is gorgeous. I love this blue color on you so much. I think everybody needs blue hair. I just want to mention a few tips when using my hair color. In order to get the best results possible, you want to make sure you're applying this color on clean and dry hair, okay? That's really important. And when you apply this color, I said this before, but make sure you really, really saturate and get a lot of color on there. I promise it's not wasting it. You want to really put that color on there so your hair can just suck up all that color and make it super vibrant and gorgeous. Also, make sure you wear gloves when applying the color so you do not stain your hands. That should be a given, but I've seen so many people apply the color without gloves and I don't like it. You can apply this color with your hands. You do not need a brush. You don't need a bowl. So you have everything besides the gloves and you can just dip in and color your hair with it. It's really foolproof. You do not need any hair experience to use this product. And that is exactly what I wanted to create. All right, my hair is just about done being processed. It has been 20 minutes. I'll be back. I definitely have colorful hair again. Oh my God. I, okay, let me just show you. Three, two, one. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> this is all I needed. I was like wondering why I felt so like uh, and like ugly and it's because I didn't have blue hair. This all makes so much sense now. I am obsessed. I feel like alive again. I feel like I have a vibe. I feel like you can slightly on camera see the difference between the sides and the, the top of my hair. It's more of like a turquoise, like grayish blue hue on the top and then the sides are like super pigmented, super blue. The whole look is just one of my favorite colors I've ever done on myself. So yay. 
That's a win for me today, baby. And for one last time, X Moto Color is now available at Sally. Ah! Thank you, Sally, for being amazing partners. I'm so excited about this. And thank you guys so much for all of your support on X Mondo. It has been, I think, almost five years of working on this brand and giving you guys the products of my dreams. I'm so excited that my products are now more accessible and easier to get than ever before. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna go to my own Sally Beauty store and go and stare at my products in the aisles and just cry. <laughs> That's all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life like I now am. And I'll see you next time. Bye.